Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Chen Yang here and I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video just want to talk about how your uneating could actually be making you gain weight okay. So I know that typically you know when you think about wanting to lose body fat if you're Google searching, YouTube searching Typically what comes up is you need to be in a calorie deficit, right? However, a calorie deficit does not mean you have to be super restrictive, cut out certain food groups, um, and to really severely undereat to lose weight, okay? So if you were to really undereat, you'll probably see your weight drop really quickly. However, what typically happens is you end up binging, you end up creating a really poor relationship with food, um, and you'll either gain back the weight you've lost or you'll gain back even more because you end up in this sort of cycle with food um, and you end up just over glamorizing food right like something that perhaps wasn't even that special to you a chocolate bar was just something you enjoyed suddenly becomes this like treat that you know once you have one you can't stop yourself from eating more and it's only because you know you've restricted for so long and you've mentally wired your brain to be like no I would not allow those foods so when you can have it you're like a child at a candy store and it's like oh my god there's so much going on I just want everything right now because I don't know if my mom's gonna let me have any more another time right I don't know if I'm ever gonna be back at this candy store similar sort of thing that goes on in your mind and essentially what happens is over time as you under eat and you under eat you form these patterns of behavior right um, and there's only so long where you kind of just give up and you're like this is not for me like I cannot continue overeating I'm tired I'm lethargic I don't have like I'm not able to go to social occasions or social events because any sort of food available is going to be too much for me it's going to have bad foods foods that I've been restricting um, and essentially you end up in the cycle where you're like well effort I'm just gonna eat you know I'm going to overeat in the weekends or I'm gonna oh, like have that massive cheat meal and then go back into under eating during the week and what happens is typically that one cheat meal is going to blow you over your calorie deficit during the week so if you're severely under eating and you are suddenly blowing out on the weekends you know that's going to be taking you out of your deficit and more likely than not because you end up just binging on the weekends you're going to be actually putting yourself into a surplus so imagine this like your body is you know starving during the week you're mentally not feeling great you're physically clearly not feeling great right if you've been depriving yourself of you know that many calories if you're in such a big calorie deficit and then it comes a weekend and you are overfeeding yourself you're overeating you're not actually feeling good either because the next day you're bloated your stomach's not happy your digestion's not happy mentally you feel so guilty right because you're like i didn't need all of that food i felt so out of control i had no power and it's this endless cycle because Monday comes along, you're still feeling puffy and you're like, well, I have to undo this, so I'm going to have to undereat again. And then it just continues and continues. And ultimately, because you have been under eating, that under eating has stimulated all this. It's essentially caused all of this to happen. Um, so what you need to remember is that if your goal is to lose body fat, Please make sure that yes, you are in a calorie deficit firstly because you're not going to lose body fat without it, but you're in a slight deficit where you're still able to function, okay? You're not restricting foods, okay? You can be in a calorie deficit and still have foods you love. Like yes, you may be a bit more selective because if you don't have, you know, an amazing amount of calories to play around with, you are not going to have the luxury of having, I don't know, a whole chocolate bar. <laughs> you're not going to have the calories you know if you fit a whole chocolate bar into your calorie deficit you're probably going to be very hungry because it's very calorie dense but that is not to say that you can't just have 10 grams or 20 grams of chocolate fit into your day because that 10 to 20 grams may just be what keeps you sane you know it may just be what you need to satisfy your sweet tooth and to keep you in that deficit so that you don't end up blowing out your deficit and eating a surplus in the weekends because you're like, you know, let me eat a whole five tubs of ice cream because I was not able to have any during this week and I have been waiting five days for this, right? If you're able to say, grab yourself some Halo Top, it's low in calories if you're, on a cal if you're in a calorie deficit. Great way to add ice cream into a diet without blowing over your calories. But add some each night, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot, but you know, a few tablespoons, half a cup, I don't know how many grams the Halo Top is. Yeah, don't ask me about that. But you know, just like enough to keep you satisfied to make you feel like, okay, cool. Like I am still enjoying those foods that I know I really need mentally to stay sane because we all have those foods, okay? And I know that for a lot of us, that's sweet foods. For me, it's sweet foods. Like I need something sweet before bed. So regardless of whether I am dieting or not, 
I know that for me to stick to my calorie deficit, to see progress and not to end up, you know, binging or to form a really unhealthy relationship with food, I need to make sure that I satisfy those personal needs. And so I always make sure to have something sweet before bed. I fit it into my macros, okay? And now I'm not saying, you know, I'm having like a massive top of ice cream cookies because if I'm in a calorie deficit, that's not going to fit very well into my macros and I'm going to be hungry if I, you know, prioritize all my calories towards a cookie that could be like, I don't know, 500 calories and it's going to last for like one second. But that is not to say that I can't have like two Oreos before bed that's going to, you know, give me that satisfaction I need without ruining my progress. So very, very important that you guys recognize that dieting or being a calorie deficit does not mean restricting, okay? In fact, how you should see your dieting um, you should see it in a way where you're asking yourself, you know, how much more food can I fit in to my macros? How much more of the foods that I love can I fit into my diet whilst being in a deficit? Like that is so important, right? So rather than being like, what do I need to cut out? What do I need to avoid? Oh my God, I'm dieting. I have to now cut out chocolate. That is a bad food. I can't have crisps. I can't have ice cream. It's about actually how much chocolate could I kind of fit into my macro so that I'm satisfying my needs but also just being logical and sensible and obviously still trying to stay full in my deficit and you know that may be 10 grams that may be a small like you know fun size um lint chocolate whatever it is um that you know keeps you feeling sane so that is the biggest tip that I have when you are starting your fitness journey or being in a deficit like please don't see deficit equals restriction because that is not the case. Dieting is hard sometimes, but you can make it a lot easier for yourself by removing that restrictive mindset. Um, and ultimately that is going to get you losing body fat and keeping it off, which is key because most of you can lose some body fat here and there, but you struggle to keep it off and you struggle to do so while staying sane enjoying your life, having a good relationship with food and enjoying your social occasions and all of that. And you know what? That is so important. You know, your goal for life is not just to lose X amount of weight. It's about getting to your best shape, feeling your best and living your best life. It all matters. So very important that you guys put that into perspective. So I hope this was helpful. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like. Let me know what else you would like to see, um, what resonated with you that really helps me also know what to provide, like what content to provide for you guys. And other than that, I hope you have a lovely rest of your night today, wherever you are. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And if you haven't joined the Instagram family, what are you doing? Join me over at cesia.fit. And yeah, I'll see you there or on YouTube in a few days time.